The reason why I titled the video the way it is, is because you all are very good traders. Everybody watching this has what it takes to become a millionaire trader, a six figure a year trader. Everybody has what it takes to become a profitable and a successful trader. Whether you know it or not, you have it inside of you. So every single day we trade the markets, we can watch ourselves trade and we can take that extra step which is going to separate us from struggling to a profitable trader. Whether you know it or not, it's what our mind tells us and our emotions, which prevents us from having success and seeing any real consistency in the market. In this video, I'm going to talk about common trading mistakes that I see a lot of traders make, which we're all going to relate to at one point in our trading journey that I'm going to explain the mistakes. And I'm also going to explain how to fix them and really take that step forward to watching yourself trade much better, take better setups and make more money in the market. Before we get into the actual trading examples, I'm also going to break down key psychology points. I recommend everyone to follow me on Instagram at investatrade. I'll post a link in the description below to follow me on there. I post daily trading recaps and very good trading tips and tricks that I guarantee you're not gonna find anywhere else. The link will be in the description below. You're seriously missing out if you're not following it. But now let's get right into the video. So like I said earlier, emotions really is, is the number one reason a lot of traders do not have success in the market. Everybody trades every day, they wake up, they get in front of the screens and they think the market's against them or they think they're doing something wrong or the market's doing something wrong and the market's not letting them have success. But fix your mindset and change the way you think. I can guarantee you 90% of the problem is you and your emotions. Emotions are the number one cause why traders do not have success in the markets. It is not the market present preventing you from making money. It's you preventing you from making money. The market, I look at it as a battlefield. I said this in another example. The market, we're basically fighting ourselves versus ourselves. It's not us versus the market. If we can control ourselves and our emotions, we can make money trading any strategy. We can make money using any time frame chart. We can make money using any tool, any indicator. It's just ourselves and at the battle of you, of you versus you, which you have to conquer and outweigh and defeat your emotions. Now that's not to say to avoid all emotions. We're humans, we can't get rid of every single emotion. It's, it's impossible, but you have to pre prevent and block out the negative emotions that are providing negative results that are preventing you from having success. Usually when you take trades based off of emotions, it brings emotional pain and worry, which affects future trading decisions. What I mean by this is something that you may have done in the past brings pain. I took a loss. This loss is damaging my mental capital and is bringing me mental pain, not physical pain, but mental pain that brings um, bad thoughts and negative decisions in the future because of we're always reflecting on the past. I want to say the past is the past and the past will always affect the future if you let it and the future will always affect the present if you let it. What we have to do as traders is focus on the present moment. This is very uh, similar to real life and really everybody says, you know, the present moment is the best moment. The market is the same way. I don't care what I did yesterday. I don't care what I did last week. That's irrelevant. That's not going to change what's in front of me right now. That's the past. It happened already. I can't get it back. I don't want it back. It's the past. It's already written down in stone and I can't change it. If I look at the future, now I'm basically trying to figure out something that's unknown. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. So for us trying to predict something or guess something that's going to happen is just going to let our mind play tricks on us. And we're going to try to be right in predicting the next result. And in the market, predicting what's going to happen just results in losses and you forcing trades. So the best thing we could do as a trader is focus on the present moment. A lot of people have mental pain in the market. 
think of a, a mistake you made and it and it got you frustrated. It got you started to sweat. You you know felt like punching your computer screen. You just felt so angry with yourself and with your market with with the market. This pain, all it's gonna do is bring more pain. It should be pain brings reflection and reflection brings growth. If you dwell on the past and past pain, all that's going to do is give it more fuel and more fire to burst into more pain and more worry and anxiety and frustration. Instead, have that pain and use that pain as a good thing. Learn from the lessons that you lost on or you want to fix. Reflect on it. Become aware of it because now this will bring growth. Defending against the pain brings more unfortunate consequences. What I mean by this, a perfect example is revenge trading. This is something that everybody does. I'm not going to lie. I personally sometimes do it myself and it just results in losses. Pain and frustration from previous losses that we may have taken just lead to basically an angry response. And this brings an effort in ourselves to get rid of the pain because we don't want to feel the feeling of being hurt from losses. And at that point now, our trading is not about finding good opportunities. It's not about searching for high quality setups. It's more about defending ourselves to avoid that feeling of pain and frustration that the losing trades will bring. An example of revenge trading is let's just say... Earlier in the day, we took the market long off of demand, and this was in the pre-market plan. Um, by the time you're watching this video, it was a few weeks ago on the NASDAQ, and we were watching a 12863 demand zone, which is this level right over here, to hold and bounce that buyers are factored in, and I'll be looking to play long at this area. Now, from a technical perspective, let's just say we get valid confirmation to take the market long when we bounce in the first five minutes and now we're long at the high right so now we're long down here mark moves up and then we start pulling back down and we break the low and we stop out of this trade for a loss it's frustrating the setup didn't work maybe our account is down five thousand bucks or we're just consistently losing and our chart trading account value looks like this intraday chart where we move we you know we made money and now we're starting to lose money on our account consistently on a daily basis the loss from this trade and i'm sure past trades is frustrating so what are we going to do we're going to see the market start to come up again and act solely out of frustration because we want to make back the money from the previous losses we see the market coming up and we automatically get in without a trading plan, without finding opportunity, but we get in just because we want to defend ourselves and remove that feeling of frustration by of losing trades by thinking we are going to take a winning trade just because the market's moving up. And then we move up, we get into this position solely out of revenge to make back the earlier losses. And then the market starts moving down and guess what happens again? We stop out of this trade and previous pain brings even more pain and it's just like a domino effect. The things you do in the past will affect the future if you let it. The next thing is taking profits way too soon. How many of you sell a position, you make X amount of dollars and five minutes later, 10 minutes later, after you sold your position, you see you could have made so much more money if you didn't take profits and the market kept moving in your direction. Now, 80%, 90% of the time, I guarantee you taking profits too soon is because you are comfortable with the amount of money you have in front of you. And you say, oh, I could have made that three days at my day, regular day job. Or, okay, I lost 500 bucks yesterday. I just made a thousand bucks on this trade. Now I'm up 500 bucks and I'm happy with it. I'm cool with it. Instead of being in the present moment and doing what the market's telling you, you're worrying about the past and you're caring about the future. The same uh, NASDAQ chart over here. Let's just say we from the pre-market plan, again, just to, sh just to show you levels, we had the demand at 12863 and I said we don't have much resistance or supply above us besides 13050. So let's just say if we got valid confirmation to get the market long at demand, we were looking to take profits at supply. 
So let's just say the market came up and we got long right over here with our stop loss below the low. So we're risking about maybe 50 points on the NASDAQ to make about two, about 170 points. Pretty good risk to reward, right? Our target supply and we see the market coming up. Our entry is the oval. We see the market coming up and okay, wow. I'm up a thousand bucks right now. I'm totally cool with that. The market's already rallied 120 points. I want to get out of this position. I don't want to worry about it. And I want to make back from the loss that I took yesterday. That is the wrong thinking. If you exit because of something that you're comfortable with instead of what the market's telling you, you're never going to be profitable and you're never going to find sustainability and profitability and consistency in your trading. It's a guarantee. You must only exit your trade if your stop loss triggers or your target hits. That is, the, that is the only exception I have for selling my position, minus a few little caveats to that when the market presents red flags. But in this example, what a lot of people would do is, is okay, I'm up a thousand bucks, I'm selling over, over here, right? Then the market pulls back and then we rally and we hit supply and we see, okay, our thousand dollar position now is worth 2,500 bucks and I would have made a lot more money because of this. And how many of you hold on to losers way too long? Meaning you might have, your stop loss may have triggered and you never sold your position because you had the ego telling you, you know, it's going to bounce here or it's going to move up. Don't sell now. Don't accept the loss. You know, a $500 loss now might be a $100 win later if we hold on to this position. That's not going to happen all the time. Your $500 loss could become a $1,000 loss or a $2,000 loss if you hold on to losers way too long. When your stop loss triggers, that's when you get out of the position and that's when you forget about it and focus on another opportunity, not focusing on the dollar amount or letting your ego do the trading. Remember what I said earlier, emotions present, prevent us from having success in the markets. So to get better at everything that I've said so far and to cope with the emotional pain and worry and avoiding such emotional decisions, which prevent us from having the success, we must do this. Now, I will say, I just recently read The Power of Now, and it's very, very similar to being in the present moment in the market of exactly what Eckhart Tolle says in that book. The power of now is everything, not only in life, being in the present moment, but also in the market. It's directly correlated to the success we're going to have clicking the buy and sell button. So to cope with this, we must become aware of the thoughts and emotions. The first step is just becoming aware of what's preventing us from finding success. Not only becoming aware of the emotional pain, like recognizing the effects of us not being disciplined or patient or being frustrated brings. So not only being aware of you know the pain, but also being aware of our thoughts and emotions and looking at it from a conscious level and looking at ourselves basically as the watcher. So we must become the watcher of these thoughts and emotions. When we're thinking every day in the market uh, of our just trading decisions, especially the emotional ones, this is off of a subconscious level. So when we take a step back and we view these thoughts from a conscious level, meaning we view the thoughts as a separate entity or a separate object, we become the watcher of these thoughts and these emotions. Now, by doing that, we can recognize these repetitive patterns before they have an opportunity to play themselves out, which usually will result in unhappy losses. So when we become the watcher, we step out and we look at our thoughts and emotions of everything that I just explained earlier. When we look at it from like a third party perspective and saying, okay, if I'm talking about myself, Carmine, you know, you're acting upon revenge trading right now, or Carmine, you took a loss yesterday and the trade that you're looking to put on right now is because you want to make the money back that you lost yesterday. Or, you know, Carmine, get out of this position right now. Don't think you're the best trader and don't hold on to a position that's losing because you don't want to accept the loss and you want to prove yourself right. Instead, just get out, accept the loss, prove you're wrong, and focus on another opportunity. So when we become the watcher and we become aware of these thoughts from a conscious third party level, whether we have to talk to ourselves, write it down, I really don't care. 
whatever it's going to make you do to become the watcher and recognize these patterns before they have an opportunity to play with our mind. Think of it like mind tricks, right? Or like a uh, hypnotist. Before they get into our head and before they start playing with our thoughts and emotions, if we can become aware of what's going to happen in the result of something or just become aware of the feeling that we get when these thoughts and emotions come at present in our trading, when we can watch this from a third party perspective, we can remove them and observe these thoughts instead of letting them consume us and destroy our mental capital. Because essentially, when our mental capital gets destroyed, this is what brings us the emotional pain. So become the watcher, become aware of these thoughts, watch them, and then observe them. Be an observer of your thoughts. Anything that you want to grow on and fix and remove from your trading, first observe them. When you recognize when they normally come present, like a habit almost, think about them, observe them, and don't let them consume you. Say, Carmine, you're about to make a trade right now because you're bored, you're sitting here on your hands, and you just want to make money. That's not an opportunity. That's acting upon emotions. When we could recognize this, I can guarantee you it's going to help you not get in a position, prevent you from entering one that you shouldn't be because your mind on a subconscious level is trying to play games and trick you. If you can be in the present moment by becoming the watcher and becoming the observer, this enables us to think in the present, forget about the past, and not think about the future. And that's a lot to do with the market success. The whole idea with this is controlling the patterns instead of letting these negative patterns control you. So when you're struggling and you're letting your emotions get involved, they're basically controlling you. You're their puppet. Instead, you got to flip the switch and you have to be the emotions puppet. And whenever the emotions are trying to control you, you control them and you can avoid them and you could change your thoughts by becoming aware and conscious of all this. So I hope this video helped. I hope it made sense. Drop a like, comment if you have any questions. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and definitely check out the links in the description below. I offer a very in-depth and educational course. It comes with access to the Discord at no extra charge. And yeah, peace out.